Now, before we dive into the gameplay, I want to first say how honored I was to be invited to Wisconsin to get a chance to experience Farm Sim 25 with 20 plus other creators for the very first time. It was an absolutely remarkable experience. Now, there will be a vlog coming out over the next several days about the trip in general, who was there, etc. I'm just waiting on some assets to be delivered from Case and Giants in order to fill that video out. But enough about the whole meet and greet aspect of the trip. Let's set some expectations before we dive into the gameplay. First, we did not have access to the full game. We did not have access to the options menu or any of the in-game menus. And we also did not have access to the PDA or mini-map, which was a bit frustrating. Second, the build we're playing on was from early September. To give you an idea of when that was with respect to the various blog posts coming out as of late, that was sometime after the Water Buffalo blog post and before the Peas blog post. If I were to venture a guess, if there was a playable demo at the Tokyo Game Show, I would say that this was probably the build that was offered there because we did have access to both maps, Riverbend Springs and Hutan Pantai. And I'm going to split up my gameplay amongst two different videos, this one being Riverbend Springs, and then we're going to release another one related to Hutan Pantai. Now you will see some bugs in this video. I've not removed anything that didn't work or worked oddly, but do note that as the watermark says, this is a pre-release version and the product was not final. We were informed that the bugs that we had already mentioned to Giants as a result of this gameplay experience had already been fixed, but due to various technical reasons, there wasn't a newer build available for us to experience. It was a bit disappointing not to have access to nearly the full game, just three weeks removed from the launch, but that's water under the bridge, so to speak. We had 90 minutes to play the game. That included setup, playing, and finishing out before the next group could then get their gameplay. We were split up into four different groups, and my group was the first to play the game. Without access to the settings, I couldn't dial back the game sound, nor could I adjust the steering speed, and the keyboard I was using was just one that I was not experienced with, so you will notice some errant key presses as a result of, well, fingers resting where they shouldn't. Without further ado, let's join our gameplay, already in progress. And the first thing we're loaded into is this fabulous Case IH tracker. We are at Case IH for this preview event, so it's only fitting that we get access to the 8 of 11 This build is about five weeks old from the time of this recording, so anything you see here is not final. Newly designed F1 menu over here. I do like the new concept of everything is split out. Do you have a web controller or a mouse controller for the header? Let's just jump out and take a look at this. Kind of a little bit closer up. We also get to hear the outstanding ambient sounds. They really kicked it up a notch from FS22 with respect to the audio track. Notice the yield bonus plus 245%. Spinach. Textures. Look just so, so much more crisp. Giants did ask us to go ahead and tap through these before we go and do our own thing. So let's just go ahead and do that. We have the Z-Tour. Nice field of cotton. Corn. Notice how the corn is not all the same height. Not all uniform. And then we have our first flooded field, our field that we could potentially flood. So we're going to come up here, we're going to hit R, then we're going to hit flood. 
see how long this thing takes to load up. This is a nice shiny wet brown texture now. You can see the water flooding in. We are recording this at 1080p. We'll hopefully get you some information as to the specs of this machine a little bit later on and I'll add them to the uh, to the video. Sunflowers, but take a look at the sunflowers. We've got the the shadows, the shadows shifting as the sunflowers move about in the sun. And then we have our growing wheat. Needs lime. So this flooding, it's not gonna take, it's not gonna be instantaneous. This is gonna take a bit. So let's go ahead and have over. We have our rice planter that we've seen so much about. A rice harvester. We'll come back to that. Got our John Deere harvester set up here. And this one is set up with GPS. Long grain rice. So that's that's not too bad. I can live with that. That's a bit. That's a bit, but these things are big and heavy. I can only imagine it'd be a bit more when it is obviously loaded down. This is our harvested green bean texture. Now this this was a bit much, in my opinion. But we'll just have to see again how it all ends up working. Spinach harvester. We're gonna come back to that. Mario, Mac Don, everyone's gonna want to see that, so we're gonna come back. So pea harvester. And, uh, let's go ahead and
footage to get the UI pressage in order to get the light. And I'm not steering at this point. It is steering on its own. But I do have to help it control it at the end of the lane. It's meant to go to the side. Giants, if there was anything that we couldn't show, and he said, Well, if it's available to show, then you can show it. The PDA is not coming up for me, so we're not going to be able to show the PDA sadly, which means we're not going to know necessarily where we are. And I don't know how well this is coming through on the video because I haven't been able to preview the video, obviously. But I have to say that things look so, so much more than they do in 22. I don't even know what to say. So much more what? So much more real? So much more lively, bright, for sure. So our river crossing should be over in this general direction. Let's go over there and check it out. These are cat tails. Let's get out of those. Do we have a shop? Is a shop enabled? No. It's like, can I buy a motorcycle? Let's drive around on that. Okay, so this is going to be bringing us into town. Let's go check out these critters. Hopefully we'll see some some baby critters. All right, let's go check those out. We have our auctioneer back there. Maybe we can find our maybe we can find our helper. So we do have a floating, floating trigger. No baby pigs. So we do have the floaty blue icons like we're used to. This is going to be a manure loading point, and we saw some of this earlier in the year. Having a hard time jumping over a fence. Look at the ground. We've got clover, we've got grasses, we've got wild seeds. Wild weeds. First, decent looking horses. Can I get? Come on, let me get over the fence. Ah, uh, can only turn off flight mode. This is, this is maybe our water buffalo. Yeah, I believe so. Oh, 
Alright, let's tab back. out over here. I thought it was a cell point. So we saw recently, I believe it was with the goat video, that at the very end of the goat video there was flies, dragonflies, something flying around. We're hearing those. We're hearing those in our, in our background audio. Let's 
is some angle on the farmer's market. Oh, it, ring toss. Can we do it? Can we do it? Nope. Got one of the green tractors that we can toy with. Really cool. Really cool place. We've got a place like this around here kids go to typically typically around this time of year with respect to Halloween and uh, pumpkins I feel we're right here close to town too. It's a bit of a shame we don't have the PDA up.
still feel for it. But for this type of ground, it's I feel it's a little bit much. This is clearly an access road. So I just wanted to give a little bit of narration to the closing out of our Riverbend Springs gameplay here. I was trying to activate the ferry. The ferry wouldn't activate because a barge was crossing in front of it. Now when I got out of the tractor, for whatever reason, I was basically walked off the ferry. I was walking the plank, if you will. I wasn't trying to run off the ferry. It just kind of took me off by something. And then when we do activate the ferry here, because now the barge is gone. When we get in the tractor, we're gonna see the wheels spinning for no reason at all. I wasn't trying to drive anywhere. It just seemed to be some sort of bug. Again, we had a very early build sometime early in September, basically six weeks prior to now is when this build was made. So all these bugs have been resolved. And I do wish that we had a more recent build to show off. But at any rate, that's our gameplay here on Riverbend Springs. I've got another video that we're going to publish related to gameplay on Hutan Pantai. Again, I want to apologize for the audio levels. They're not to my normal quality and my normal standard of being able to clearly hear me over the gameplay. I had one monitor, so I really couldn't tab back and forth constantly and see gameplay audio levels versus mic levels and everything like that. So it is what it is. Hopefully you could hear me when I was saying some things. I'll try to put some text up on the screen to help you all out. At any rate, if you are looking to buy Farming Simulator 25 after you've seen this gameplay footage, please use some affiliate links down in the description below and my partner code, FarmerKline. It really would help us move closer to becoming a gold partner with Giants. In addition, if you are maybe interested in picking up the Collector's Edition, I do have an Amazon affiliate link also down in the description. Please like this video. Share it with others that are interested in Farm Sim 25. Help this video get discovered by many, many others. And of course, we are trying to get 50,000 subs between now and the release of Farming Simulator 25. We're about 500 short, and I'm a little worried we're not going to reach that goal. So if you aren't a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.